So, apparently we've been living our lives wrong. What? At least, that's what these people are telling us. These people believe there's an easier way to live life. And we are going to rate their life hacks as ill or whack. Let's go. Did you know... What? Can you do that? Yeah, she's gotta check. You gotta check. That's gotta be Cap. That's gotta be Cap. She's like, I can't believe I got out of bed for this, but I just have to know. All right, the moment of truth. Oh my gosh! This whole time! No, I did not know. <laughs> no, I had no idea. All right, that's a, that's a, that's an ill life hack. If your car has it, I don't know if every car has that. Life hacks you need to know! All right, cut the things off of a thing. And then put a sponge on it. And then clean in between. Uh, that's stupid. That's that's incredibly dumb. As if this is going to work as well for you as it did for them. No, 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 no. Guys, that one's whack. That one's whack. I ain't buying it. Here are five life hacks that you need to know. Okay, I love the way you talk, my dude. There's no way that you talk to other people in life like this. So why are you doing it now? I'm going to stop being mean to this person and watch their video. Number one, if someone pushes all the buttons in the elevator... Just press each button twice to avoid going to those floors. Number Will two, that work? if you get annoying calls like telemarketers, just press the number nine during the call and it will add your number to a do not call list. That sounds, three, there's no you, way, what? That's cap. There's no way that's right. There's no way that that is correct. Nine is an option on a lot of- If you want to speak to a representative, press nine. There's no way. You ever get a headache that just won't go away? Just cut a lime in half, rub it on your forehead, and it will go away like nothing. This is- this is lies! Stop lying! This is all lies! Do you have an irritating paper cut? You can heal it and ease the pain by rubbing chapstick on it. Number 5. If you need an effective way to study for a test, just chew gum. Then chew the exact same flavor during the test and it will help you remember. I- Yo, th that was the wackest thing I have ever seen. Actually, Robert, did I did it? No, no, I went to university. Get this trash out of my face. Show me the life hack that you randomly saw one day that is now an unconscious Frame standard practice in your life. Ooh, ooh, to keep it level, not bad. Get a leveler, and then you draw it on right there. And you can put the things in. Wait a minute. Oh, 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 okay, okay. So that's if you need it to be the right length for these things right here. Okay, that's fair. Because it's like the leveler itself you can write. You can write on the wall with the leveler. You know that, right? So unless you need the exact perfect length, I'm sure there's another way of doing it. That's fine. I'll give it an ill. Show me the life hack that oh, you Oh, the same sound, oh boy. What spaghetti stains? Ew. I would never touch this thing anyways. Face. It's just, okay, swirling it around. Uh, gears of spaghetti stains? I don't know if I'm buying that. I'm gonna give that a whack. I'm giving it a whack. I don't know about that. But then again, I don't ever let my 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 Tupperware get that disgusting in the first place. Life hacks you'll thank me for, part 22. 22. If you're in a pinch and you need to replace your AA battery, but all you have is a AAA battery, don't worry. All you need is some foil. No just roll up some tin way. foil and put it where the battery's negative no terminal way. connects. And as long as you have enough to fill in the gap, your device should still turn on. If you want a way no to keep your spinach way. fresher for longer, here's what you do. After you clean your spinach, store it in a Ziploc bag or better yet a container and be sure to place a paper towel in there with it. The paper towel will absorb the moisture and keep your spinach fresher for longer. Did you know that on your Maybe. ceiling fan, there's a switch to reverse the direction of the airflow for the different seasons? During Maybe. the summer, make sure the switch is flipped so that your ceiling fan is going in a counterclockwise direction Maybe. so the airflow is pushing down. And in the winter, switch it to clockwise so that it gently draws the room air up towards the ceiling fan and forces the warm air down and out towards the walls. Like and follow for more life hacks. Man, I don't know if a lot of these are true. <laughs> there's no way. Where's, okay, comments. The battery trick is mind blowing. That will make the batteries explode. I used to do this with Xbox 360 controllers. Is this for real? Nah, 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 nah. The first one has got to cap. All right, we got a like-minded individual over here. <laughs> My sister just got her 10-piece McNugget and did this to it. Coke on bottom, straw in between, half fries, half chicken. Now this 
is a snack pack. Pay attention, people. This is the future of McDonald's. Bro. That is so stupid. What, what is, there is zero advantage to that whatsoever. There is absolutely no advantage to doing that. Oh, oh no, but if you have them separate, you have to turn your head six inches to the left. Oh no. Oh, you know what? You're right. Brilliant. Never, never <laughs> eat in a different way. All right, we got some corn on the, corn on the, put it into the lemon. There's no way you're gonna get juice. No way. No way. What? What? Oh no. The freshest mist. Is this is this product literally designed for that? That is very bizarre. Okay. All right. Well, if life gives you lemons, make lemon spray. That's what they always say. Hmm. I wonder if my pasta's ready. Um. You weirdo. <laughs> what the? Looks good. What? What? Why did you? <laughs> Hannah, why did you send that to me as a life hack? That wasn't no life hack. That was a pasta smack. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that clip because uh, it wasn't no life hack, but okay. Okay, this is what gets sent to me sometimes. If your window's never going down, here's a life hack to fix it. Ah! <laughs> Impressive. Impressive. <laughs> Ill, ill life hack. And I have been forgetting to rate these. Very impressive. That, that definitely works. Here's what you do when you're super tired, but you only have eight minutes. Get on the floor and put your feet up on your bed like this or on something high, couch, anything. Set a timer for eight minutes and take the best nap of your life. It's a Navy SEAL trick and it works. Now follow me to get your life together. Okay, didn't need that. No, plug at the end. Get ahead with Nick. Half a million followers. There you go. Good job. In the army, I trained myself to nap anywhere in any position. Well, good job. You're still spending time on TikTok like the rest of us, my friend. I slept 12 hours and missed school. Thanks. Life hacks you'll thank me for part 20. Part if you 20. want to protect your phone chargers from constantly ending up frayed, Don't own a just cat. use a spring from an old click pen. Wrap it around the end and now you're cord is more protected yet still flexible. If you're measuring out honey and you okay. want to prevent it from sticking to the spoon, just spray the spoon first with some cooking spray and it Duh. literally glides right off the spoon. Duh. If you're tired That's of getting your sleeves wet every time you wash your face, try using a pair of wrist sweatbands. They catch all the water that drips down and your sleeves stay dry. Um, like and follow for more like short, Don't wear long sleeves when, <laughs> when you're putting your hands in this. Bruh. Okay, a couple of these are bruh moments. A couple of these life hacks are actually bruh moments. <laughs> this is silly. This one's pretty silly. Who, who is like, oh wait, I don't need to use this pen properly. Let me get rid of the spring and put it on my iPhone. Fam, nah, 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 nah. That that segment was whack. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lindsay. Show me the life hack that you randomly saw one day that is now an unconscious standard practice in your life. Are you wasting part of the bread? No, that's great. Yo, this is crazy. Yo, yo. Ew. I wish you didn't show me that last clip, but that was kind of cool. Interesting. That's the type of life hack I could very easily try. Oh, am I really about to do this, people? Am I really about to do this? Am I really about to try this? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, fine, fine, fine. All right, people, if this burns my house down, it's your fault, and you guys all owe me $2 each, and I think that will pay for my, <laughs> my house. All right, here we go, here we go. Okay, first we get out a cutting board because obviously we're we're not trying to make a whole mess out of my, my counter here. I've had these two for a while. We got crunch and we got cookies and cream. And I've had these for ages, so they're probably not super fresh. But I don't care. I don't intend on eating this whole thing. Also, guys, I'm sorry, but to look like this, you gotta eat healthy, okay? You got- I ain't got no Wonder Bread, okay? Wait a minute, what's this circle thing that they used? It was a jar, right? Okay, I have a jar. Okay, it was two pieces of bread. Waste- I'm wasting two pieces- I just bought this. I'm gonna waste my bread for y'all. Okay, I have- this jar right here. I think it's the perfect size. It's very narrow. I'm just gonna use the... No, I'm gonna use the cookies and cream. I'm gonna use the cookies and cream. This stuff will last forever because it's not very high quality chocolate. Okay, here we go. Put that right, right there on top. Okay, very nice. Put this on here, all right. And then we gotta squish it. Three, two, one. This is not as easy as they made it look. Okay, oh, actually, I totally got it. Now how do we get, oh no. How do we get this out? Oh no, get out, please. No. Oh no, it's stuck in here forever. Okay, 
price is averted. All right, this actually kind of looks like the thing in the video. All right, I'm gonna toast this. Here we go, people. I'm not putting this in for long at all, because I'm scared. I cannot believe I'm doing this. I am truly about to try TikTok life hacks in real life. This is, I'm really about, I'm really about this life, you guys, for the first time. Oh, hi, Rocco. Hey, Rocco. How's it going, bro? How's it going, bud? Look at that boy. Oh, he's so relaxed. Rocco's so relaxed. Hello, buddy. I ain't just a reaction channel, people. Robert IDK is so much more than that. I hope you realize. Oh my gosh, it's done. All right, let's go get, let's get our tongs right here real quick. And we will scoop it right up out of the... All right, very nice. And we have our little chocolate burger thing. Wow, I think this worked, people. I think this actually worked. I'm gonna put it on a paper towel and I'm going to carry it back into the room. All right, friends, here it is. I did it. Um, I'm gonna go for it right now, I guess. Maybe this will be terrible. It's bread, it's bread and chocolate. Was that the bite of 87? My God, this idea could just be crazy enough to get us all killed. But here's the thing. I'm not wasting bread every time I want to do this. But I'm going to keep it real. It works. It works. You can call that video a lot of things, but you can't call it cap. That was a weird thing that I've never eaten before and probably will never eat again. So you guys just caught a special moment in my life. So I just got this pool. Okay. Oh, yeah. Ten foot. Very cool. I saw this hack on YouTube where if you put a half of a water bottle and use the blow dryer. Whoa. Blow so I'm gonna try. Okay, With hot this air. Work because the water bottle fits perfectly. So wow, I think this is gonna cold. work. I mean, there are actual just air pumps that are the same thing. I don't know what I'm doing. That's what you're supposed to use. You're supposed to use an actual air pump. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it works. Okay. The thing that blows air is blowing air. Okay, that's sped up, guys. It won't be that fast when you do it. Okay, cool. That was interesting. That was interesting. Thanks, Sam. Using toothpaste on a wall outlet. What? What? Oh, and then you're gonna cut it out? So you can use- Why did you need to use toothpaste for that? Is- Was toothpaste the right thing? This seems like extra steps. Okay. Okay, okay, I see you. I see you guys. Guys, toothpaste. Interesting choice, interesting choice. But I'm I'm gonna have to say that, my friends, was deal. <laughs> so we've been wondering why our daughter insists on inserting the short end of the bendy straw into the juice carton. Today, she explained her reasoning. Me, a dummy. My daughter, an enlightened one. So you can get it in the corner. You, so you can get it in the corner. Stupid. <laughs> Stupid. Dumb, dumb, whack. Guys, you're not crazy for doing it normally. You can very easily angle that to the bottom corner. It, it's so easy and you have a way better angle on your mouth. Do you really want to be sipping juice boxes like because it's just going straight up? That's stupid. That is so dumb. Nah, fam. The way you guys are doing it is fine. Keep it up, keep it up. Things I've learned on TikTok. Take an egg, crack it once, flip it over, crack it again. Then just hold it in between your hands and rub like this. And the whole thing just comes off. Isn't that crazy? For a hard, take, take a hard boiled again, egg. And just hold it in between your hands and rub like this. What? And the whole thing just comes off. Isn't that crazy? When it's hard boiled. What the heck? What? Yeah, that, that's for a hard, I don't eat hard boiled eggs. Maybe that's smart. That might be smart. That might be smart. If you're trying to crack an egg for frying it, that is really dumb because you are gonna get little pieces of shell all over your pan. You don't want that. But for a hard boiled egg, I can't, I can't relate. So you guys, you let me know. Was this, is that one ill or whack? You guys let me know in the comments. To my hard boiled egg lovers out there. I bet you didn't know this hack. Oh no, horrible Justin Bieber cover. Um, okay. Yeah, that's not the dumbest thing ever. That, I mean, that cover was the dumbest thing ever. It was the dummy, 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 dumb. Um, yeah, that was, that's fine. That's fine. Sure. I mean, a true skilled uh, egg master doesn't need to use that life hack, but I mean, hey, to any of my struggling egg uh, consumers out there, you can, you can feel free to use that hack. <laughs> when people don't open their ketchup packets like this, 
Wham! Oh my gosh! Okay, okay, okay. Great, 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 great. But what's holding that thing up? What's holding that thing up, fam? What, are you gonna, you gonna hold up the packet the whole time? No, you're still gonna put it on something, right? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I mean, that's fine. But hey, ketchup packet making company, stop putting the terrible sign on the top on the on the uh, the other way we weren't told to do it like that if that's better then that's cool also guys i don't eat ketchup i know i know i don't do hard boiled eggs and i don't do ketchup two things that supposedly go pretty well together so i can't relate so it's up to you guys you let me know is that one ill or whack all right oh using a massager to get all the dust out oh Ooh, all the dirt! Wow! All right, don't be br You should probably wear a gas mask while you're doing this. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's cool, I like that one. I gotta say, that one's ill, because your boy, your boy. I got one of these. All right, check it out. All right. We got it. We got it bumping, baby. This is a massage gun. It massages. Oh, yeah, it's your boy Robert ADK over here. Hope you guys are liking this, uh, smooth, this smooth video from your boy Robert ADK. Just doing a little bit of, uh, massage therapy. Apparently, you can also use this on your, uh, your, in your car to, uh, help get those, uh, uh, those stubborn dirt areas, uh, handled. Oh, okay, guys, that's feeling good. That's feeling good. I'm gonna keep it real, people. Oh! All right, I'm gonna resume this as soon as this video is done because I need this right now. Oh! All right, you put some medicine in your kid's mouth or your whatever. Oh, you tell them it's whipped cream? delicious whipped cream, but it turned out it was actually go-go squeeze! Mmm, classic. Okay, yeah, s simple, dumb, dumb toddler logic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think everyone knows that something like that works. In fact, we, uh, we use something very similar in this thumbnail right here. If you haven't seen this video, why, why don't I give you a link here? It'll be at the end of the video, but it's right here, uh, in case you, in case you need it for now. Little tips and laugh. Use a blow dryer with a, with a, would a what? Oh, using a blow dryer as a vacuum? Okay, I guess that works. All right. What the heck is going on? What the heck? Yo, okay, okay. This is cool, but you're getting made fun of if you have half a kettle glued to your wall, honestly. You're getting made fun of. All right, cut a water bottle now. Towel store? Okay, guys, no. You're getting roasted if you do this. Okay, if that works, that's fine. That's fine. That is fine. The other things, you're kind of getting roasted if you're doing that. Listen, if you can't afford a vacuum and you want to do that with your blow dryer, sure, sure. Good best of luck to you. But putting a kettle on your wall, using plastic water bottles to store washcloths, you, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. You're getting roasted if you do that. Whack. Hi, my bag was damaged. I don't know, that looks like normal wear and tear to me. Always uh -oh. take a quick picture of your bag before the flight for this reason. No, I took a picture of how it looked oh, before no. this flight. Well, we aren't responsible for the damaged baggage either way. Next, actually the airline is responsible for paying oh, the replacement no. value of the damaged bag and items inside of it. How about a $250 travel voucher instead? She doesn't I've read your oh, terms and conditions. No. Since this is a domestic flight, you are responsible for up to $3,800 oh. per ticketed passenger for the damages. Oh. Ugh, fine. Fill out this form and state how much the damage was. Then we'll mail you a check. Who taught you this? Erica did. She's a lawyer and reads the fine print, so I don't have to. That's why I follow her. Aww. Oh. Oh, that was a cute little advertisement at the end. That was a cute little ad. Okay, okay, I vibe with that. But before that, actually, I read your terms and conditions, and you actually are responsible. Listen, I don't like to use this word. Word. I don't like to use this word as like a der as a derogatory term because there are some wonderful people with this name. But the what people mean by that word that that's that's what she's being. That that is what she's being. And I uh, just the tone is kind of lame. You don't need to. You don't need to. Actually, ma'am, I I read your terms and conditions, and it actually turns out that uh, you are responsible for uh, for three 
that up to $3,800 worth of damage. Um, I took a picture, so it's yeah, up to you guys to get. Yeah! Yeah, I did read the fine print. Okay, we got it. We got it. You know what else we got? We gotta wrap up this video! Woo! Here's the video I was just talking about. If you haven't seen it, you should, you should, you gotta check it out if you've missed it. If you aren't caught up on this one, you gotta check it out, okay? Or here's a different video that YouTube specifically thinks you will like. Are they right? You let me know. I will see you here. I will see you there. I love y'all. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Peace! Oh, oh.